everybody. Here's uh, step two, part two of the series of videos on Click and Chat GPT. Uh, this one's around uh, GPT-3 and the API and how to integrate and what the pricing is around that part. As I said in the last video, Chat GPT is using the API in Chat 3, GPT-3 or maybe GPT-3.5, don't know in the background. And essentially, um, when you ask a question, it gets sent by the API to the engine and the engine comes back with the answer. So one of the questions that was in my head was really how easy would it be to use BI data and get insights from ChatGPT? So the first idea that came to mind was um, customer reviews. Uh, and so I, I'm not gonna lie, I went to a nice restaurant on Saturday night and I grabbed a couple of their reviews and I placed them into ChatGPT. And this is the output that came back after I asked for those three uh, reviews. I think that's pretty impressive. It's given a score for each of them and then an overall ranking for all of the scores combined into a review. And uh, it's uh, it was amazing in my mind. It's amazing what it did. So another example that came to mind was using some BI data to get some insights. And this particular time was around customer churn data. Now that's something from Click, it's a sample data set. And so I used some of those records. ChatGPT doesn't allow you to use all the records. The data set is too big. Um, but after showing those records, this is the suggestions that came back. Uh, altering the plan type, maybe looking at promotions and customer satisfaction. Um, it's a little bit different from what we would think of as machine learning, but it was really still quite insightful. So how do we go about doing that in our own application? Essentially, OpenAI has an API, and that allows us to connect our data sets that are sitting in Click, uh, push them across into that uh, 3.5 or 3, and then come back with uh, the right kind of um, answers for us. So we could do that with a number of of the products, if you like, that are in OpenAI. But the one that really I wanted to focus on is uh, chat. The one I wanted to focus on was GPT 3.5. So focusing on 3.5, uh, it's the latest version for generating natural language responses. Uh, it's important that you understand that it returns language rather than numbers. Um, it may do the occasional number in the mix, but it's essentially a language model. And that's why the first example went really well, uh, because it was looking at a, a series of reviews, taking those words, crunching them out and understanding. The second looked at numbers uh, and when those numbers were brought in and it understood that there was a churn for some and not for others, it then calculated um, the results uh, in terms of giving some suggestions that would be places to look at to improve the churn rates. OpenAI recommends using GPT 3.5 Turbo. Uh, it says that's the most capable model and is optimized for chat at about a tenth of the cost of some other. Uh, versions. It costs um, 0.2 of a cent for a thousand tokens. And you can think of tokens as being um, the space, I guess, that some words take up. So a thousand tokens is roughly 100 words. So if you think of a really simple example, if your prompt that you send uh, contains 10 tokens and you re request a single token completion of 90, then that'll cost 100 tokens. Uh, and 100 tokens would be about 0 0.02 of a cent. So in the next video, uh, we'll have a look at how to get click data ready to send to GPT. And um, we'll see if we can use that first use case around the reviews as a good example of how to go through that. So look out for part three, it won't be out till next week. So I recommend that you subscribe right now so that you can see the next video when it comes out. Thank you.